um, I would like to uh, explain our general approach to this topic. When you consider potential applications of artificial intelligence in steel, um, it's clear that for each steel making and uh, steel manufacturing process, there are certain efficiency gains that you can achieve by application of AI. Uh, roughly, one can say that you get a performance increase of 5 to 10 percent per process. But uh, it is also clear that large additional potentials can be lifted if um, you as a steelmaker are able to apply industrial AI um, in a um, concrete manner across multiple processes at once. This is one aspect of this topic. Um, the other aspect of introducing artificial intelligence into steel making is to help transform the steel industry. Currently, the steel industry is operating in a highly efficient manner, but um, there is still potentials left to be gained because all of steel making is based on rigid rules. We it's call it Q3 genius. Q is for quality quantity and quickness and genius for jowl and energy and the smart energy. Practically, we are going to uh, handle uh, energy following uh, more sources, different time, different plan requirement uh, with a certain of uh, uh, intelligence in all this because uh, prediction and because of uh, um, raw material, energy cost uh, is a very big figure in the steel industry. So to have the um, intelligence in uh, those data is uh, very useful for uh, to increase efficiency, but also reduce uh, emissions. The, um, the point is uh, that we, we are moving now to the uh, mini mill, the mini mill that can be for both uh, flat products and uh, long products. Uh, surely the trend, the global trend is more and more to, to make this process on uh, um, practically endless. So whenever we can, inter no interruption in the process. Quite easy and quite nice, but uh... We have seen now by, by doing a lot of detailed work to, to put this kind of technologies into existing plants, that it needs really an in-deep look into these existing facilities because all these facilities have been historically grown, uh, have challenges in their logistic, and it's not only the look into the technology, it's the look how raw material can be transported, how the final product can be transported out from the plant, how this link of existing metallurgical treatment plant caster can be performed with these new technologies. Here we are learning, we are building up our own models, we are building up our, our detailed calculations of uh, CO2 savings and CO2 comparisons, also how to implement return scrap and external scrap into this complete uh, consideration in, in steel qualities. So here I believe all, all plants thinking to, to participate in this transformation have really a kind of pre-engineering work to be done that afterwards to be really sure what is the right and the right fit of technology for each particular plant site. Um, I think it will take a uh, considerable time until the relevant capacities of H2 are available for steel manufacturing. So uh, currently um, there are uh, pilot projects starting in Europe in multiple countries uh, where H2 is being used in steel making, but I think it will take years until um, enough H2 is available and it will not be easy to um, make sure that there's enough H2 based on 
uh, or made using green energy. Yeah, so um, some countries will definitely need to import H2 in order to fulfill the needs of the steel industry. And therefore, I would expect that the change, the transmission from um, conventional steel making, blast furnace based steel making towards the zero, zero emission steel making is a step by step process where, or like we heard already, a natural gas can be one step towards in, in that direction, but it will take um, years until uh, we see high volumes of um, zero emission steel being manufactured. The, um, something like, okay, for sure we need it in the DRI to, to move from natural gas to to hydrogen, but then we also need some carbon no, inside the, that, that today the, the natural gas uh, is giving us that carbon that we need in the process. So uh, if we are talking about direct uh, reduction, I think we will start, uh, if today probably for reason of uh, industrial cost, uh, uh, we can start uh, from uh, natural gas, is a large quantity, is cheap. Don't forget that um, already moving from uh, a blast furnace, conventional one, with uh, starting from coal to uh, DRI process, you already reduce uh, the emission by about 65%. Uh, 